I've been creating and publishing content publicly since the fall of 2016. I've learned so much along the way and it's truly benefited my life in so many ways. It's been an incredible journey, an awesome experience. And over the years, I've just picked it up and done more and more and more. And now I'm in the midst of really pushing hard and creating a lot of great content to truly add more value to the world. And certainly it's not all just altruistic. There are benefits to me in my life personally and professionally. Now, at the end of the day, I'd love to be able to add value to human lives and to inspire and encourage, but there are other benefits that I get by creating content. And so if you're paying attention to this right now, maybe you're someone that hasn't really taken the dive into creating content. Maybe you've posted a few things here or there. Maybe you haven't done anything at all. I want to share with you five specific things that will be benefits to you and your life when you start to create content online. And so to help you understand, I've made hundreds of videos to this point, whether it's on YouTube or other social medias. I've made a couple of po few podcast episodes. I've made dozens and dozens of posts on social media. I've written an entire book, Attract Your Potential. So not just online, but obviously the book, which is found online, that's where people buy it. I've got a website, so I've made all kinds of content. Mostly, I've spent a lot of my intention and focus around video content. And so that's the one that I think most people have the biggest challenge with. Most people are more comfortable with typing out a little text post that they can put on and share. Maybe they took a photo of themselves or a photo of something and they post that on social with a few text verbiage as the post. Video is a lot more challenging. And so because I've focused a lot more on video and made a lot of video content, I feel that I'm in a great position to share with you these specific benefits because it hasn't been an easy journey in a lot of ways. People might watch my videos today and think, wow, JJ, like you seem so natural on camera and you seem like it's easy for you. Well, if you go back and watch my very first YouTube video from the fall of 2016, I was laying on the ground in front of my little... Um, library shelves, uh, shelves of li my books. I don't know why I call it library shelves, but the shelves of my books, my bookcase at home. And I thought it made me look smart because I've got books behind me, but the shelf was so short that I had to lay down to actually get it in the shot, in the video. And I basically just sat there and said, here's why I'm making videos. Here's what my purpose is. And here's my plan. I did a hundred day video challenge at that time. And so it was really humble beginnings, as they say, because the video wasn't very good, didn't get viewed by many people, but it was my first step towards creating the content that I'm creating today. I can virtually guarantee you that I would not have a book published today if I hadn't been creating all of the content that I've been creating because the content led to some amazing things. And so let's dive in. The very first benefit that you will gain by creating content and publishing it publicly online is that it will strengthen you. It will strengthen your confidence. It will strengthen your courage. It will strengthen your emotional resilience and your resolve to actually take action and to put yourself out there. It's not easy to put yourself out there publicly and to share your thoughts or to share your ideas or to speak, whether you're on video or podcasts, or to even just share your opinions and perspectives through a text post, there's the challenge of the opportunity to be rejected. You see, what I've faced is this constant battle of, is this content good enough? Will people like it? And actually, the bigger question I ask is not, will people like it? It's, will people hate it? Will people think I'm a moron? Will people think I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about? Will people think I'm Pollyanna for being so positive? And just all of these things going through my head about what will people think? about what I'm doing. And even here, years later, after creating, again, hundreds, literally hundreds of videos that I've posted publicly, I'm, I've still gotten to this point where I might make a video post sharing something important to me or speaking about something that I'm passionate about and trying to encourage and inspire people. And there's still this voice in my head that says, well, people think you're crazy. Or will people think you're not intelligent? Or will people think you're whatever? Like so many things go through my head. And sometimes I ask my wife, like, what do you what do you think about that video? In hopes that maybe she'll remind me that it's a bad video and I should take it down. I shouldn't say in hopes that 
she says that, but there's part of me that sometimes thinks maybe she'll tell me to take it down. And I don't think that's ever happened ever. She always encourages me and says, that's a great video. I really like the message. And I truly believe that the only way we can get stronger with our emotional resilience to be faced with rejection and to come through that is to put yourself out there. Because the only way you can get more comfortable with rejection, which is what's going to happen for the rest of our lives, we're facing rejection every single day. Every single time that we take a step towards the dreams that we want to live, we are facing an opportunity to be rejected. And it might not be a direct rejection in, the, in terms of someone saying, no, you're not hired, or I'm not hiring you for this job, or for this opportunity, or I'm not going to bring you in, or you're not going to be part of this team, or I don't like your, co-, whatever it is, or maybe just the rejection of your belief that not a lot of people are going to like the video, like the video, like hit the like button, or not a lot of people are going to comment. And maybe you'll feel rejected because you don't have hundreds or thousands of views and likes or dozens of comments. But if you can lean into this opportunity to be rejected by making content online, you will absolutely become more confident. Not because you don't continue to have the fear that people are going to judge you. Because I can, like I've already said, even today, I have sometimes this voice in my head that says, maybe people aren't going to like it. Maybe people aren't just going to not like it, but they're not going to like you because of what you said here. And even though I still face that today, I have greater confidence because I can lean into that knowing that regardless of what people think, I'm going to keep making content because I hang on to the few people that I know are finding value in the content that I'm making. And I know that I'm getting better at this second benefit, which is developing skills. You will become a better communicator, especially if you're making video content. If you're making video content, and you're speaking direct to camera, whether it's for 60 seconds or 60 minutes or anything in between, you have to be able to communicate effectively to get your message across. And you're not going to be great the first time you do it. You might even land flat on your face the first time you speak to a camera. And you might have to start it over 17 times or feel like you have to start it over 17 times. But you're going to get better. And you're going to get better. And then you're going to get better. <laughs> And you have to just keep going because it's in the activity, it's in the repetition of making the content that you're going to develop skills. And the ability to communicate a message, whether through video or audio or through written words and texts, that ability is invaluable. And it's an ability, it's a skill that when you develop it, it just better positions you to become the best version of yourself, to open up more opportunities and more doors to do more things. So the third benefit of creating content online is that you'll become known by more people. Now, initially that might be just, just quote unquote, just dozens, then maybe a few dozen, and then maybe a few hundred, and then maybe thousands, and it'll build from there. But either way, you're gonna become known by more people. And I don't just mean people are gonna see you once, but when you keep creating content, when you make another video every single day or every single week, or you make a post every few days, more people, those people that initially saw one of your posts might see more of your posts. And they might watch more of your videos. They might listen to more of your podcasts. And the more repetition people have with seeing you, the better known you become. So when I say you'll become better known by making content, that means in two ways. Number one, you're going to reach more people. Literally, the number of people that know you will increase. Secondly, the people that now know you will start to know you better. And they'll build trust with you. They'll build rapport with you. They'll feel connected to you. Because the more opportunities you have to put a message into the world, and the more you take advantage of that opportunity by putting your content out there, the more chances somebody's going to have to get to know you a little bit better. And as people get to know you a little bit better, well, now you're building that relationship so that you can continue to serve that person, so that they'll buy your book or so that they'll join your membership or so that they'll want your programs and your services or to join your team or whatever it might be. Putting out more content makes you better known by more people in a deeper way. 
And that's going to benefit you in extraordinary ways. And the fourth benefit is really because of this third benefit. The third benefit is you're going to become known by more people at a deeper level. And then because of that, the fourth benefit is you'll have more opportunities opened up to you. When you put more content into the world, better content, you make it better and better every single time, opportunities will come your way. That's how I got my first speaking engagements. Even though the first ones were free, people saw that I was doing speaking or wanting to do speaking or creating content. So they asked me about being able to speak to their groups. And even though initially it was just with a few people, eventually it grew and grew and grew to the point where I was being paid to speak. At first it was just a few hundred dollars. Actually, at first it was like a $40 gift card to an arcade. (laughs) That was my first paid speaking engagement. And then it became $1,000 and then $1,500 and then $2,500. And then eventually the largest speaking engagement fee that I had was $4,000 $4,000 and I was flown to another state and that was incredible and I don't say that to brag I say that to let you know that these are the kinds of opportunities that can come up if you start to make content and produce it and publish it publicly because certainly you can make content and send it to just a few people because like as an example on YouTube you can have private videos and if you just make so that's why I specify public content online you can make all kinds of content that isn't available for the world to see for any random person to come across. Like you could have private settings on Instagram or other social media so that only a select group of people that you allow to follow, you can see your content and that's fine, but that's a different kind of content creation than putting it out there for literally anyone that might come across it to view it and to judge it. And the fifth and final benefit that you'll get is that you'll serve people. A benefit that you will get from creating and producing content online is that you can truly serve humanity. You can give value to people through the content that you make. And if you can take on this mindset, this belief that you're truly contributing value into the world because you're contributing value to individual lives, everything will change for you. You will start to realize the power of what you're doing, not just the power, but the importance of what you're doing. And when you can realize the importance of what you're, you're doing, you will do it again and again and again. You'll do it more often. You'll want to develop that craft. You want to hone that skill so that you can add more value to more lives every single time that you make a new piece of content. So my friend, if you've ever considered making content online, whether videos or podcasts or texts or just photos, I want to encourage you to do it because you will benefit greatly and other people will benefit greatly. You can change lives, your own lives, your family's lives. You can change other humans' lives, people you've never met before but come across your content because it's out there publicly for the world to see. You'll get better as a human being. You will elevate your life in so many ways. So if you've ever thought about it, please take action. Do it. Test it out. Pick up your phone. Hit record. Say something encouraging. Just tell people your name and what you care about or write a quick text or make a podcast, it's easy to upload things on Anchor. I'm sure there are other apps you can use, but that's one I've used in the past. Your voice needs to be heard. Your message needs to get out there because the world needs it. You've got certain gifts and talents and experiences and skills that can benefit the world and can help you to come alive and feel uplifted by using those skills in a way that serves humanity. So my friend, do it. Take action now, don't wait. Decide today is the day that you get started making content publishing it online for the world to see because it will absolutely change your life and the lives of everyone who has the opportunity to come across your content. 